I'm looking and I'm like, man, it's gonna be a lot of disgruntled superstars that are gonna that's gonna be coming up this offseason. The Knicks are eye candy right now. Mm. By the way, let me say this. James Dolan, whatever he got going on outside of the, the basketball world, you know, that's his business. Mm. But what he has done a great job of, of putting people in position to make this franchise successful. Yeah. Winners. When you talk about Leon Rose, when you talk about William Wesley, those guys are winners. And if you don't believe me, go look at who really formed that big three down there in Miami and made that happen with D-Wade, Braun, and, and Bosch. Mm. Those Leon Rose. You know what I mean? Like, And when I think about how they did it from the ground up, I got to give a lot of credit to them. Getting Tibbs in there, getting the players around Tibbs, and the books are not cooked. Yeah. They still got Books room healthy, to go out and do, yeah, and do whatever. Yeah. My thing is, I want to watch the Knicks make this run because I'm going to say this to you, CP. I hope you agree with me. If the Knicks don't make it to the Eastern Conference Finals this year, in my eyes, it's a failure. Yeah. Because, yeah. in my opinion, it's, it's there for them to get with this squad that they have. Okay, and then let the chips fall where they may. But after their season is done, Got to be very, very careful on what you want to add to this team, right? Who you may want to add to this team because everybody might not fit. And you don't want to add anything that's going to stop Jalen Brunson from being the best version of Jalen Brunson. You also don't want to take away the tenacity and the and the, the family vibe that you've created yeah, with, this Nick, with this Nick team. So you got to be careful. But, man, I, look, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> 